Hello everyone, my name's is Tokreva and welcome back to some more Stellaris Federations playing the Democratic Griffin States and here we see Wankward Artem wondering, wondering what secrets it holds. We'll find out soon enough once we get to colonize it. We are on our way there. But for now, let's actually continue expanding and doing other things like um, going there too. I want to grab this we system and this and system moment. and every other system everywhere around here. Let's add another ship to our fleet. Construction completed. Actually, we have some money. Let's look into admirals. Yeah, let's system get an aggressive admiral. Completed. That's 22 extra strength, actually, the 5%. Nice. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Despot 4. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the breeze blown Anak managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. That is indeed a very System interesting. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found within the impact crater. Um, oh yeah, right. Um, I cannot see there right now. You know what? You can. Are you kidding me? Even more planets here. And that's a savanna world too. Oh man, he gets to all the freaking planets. Eh, eh. Stupid, stupid science stuff. Completed. Um, let's actually have a look in that system if it's still there. Zastia Five A is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Let's buy some extra... Yeah. Let's buy some extra alloys. We're receiving a transmission from the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. 43 influence. A visitor, this is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all the other things which makes existence bearable to a sapient being. Please, if you'd like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Let's do some more planetary growth. Because we can. Construction completed. Oh, this is Research actually perfect completed. timing. They're leaving the system right now. Off-road trading company. Uh yes, let's we get oh. Yeah, no. I'm getting the society research bonus. Even though the 20% fruit from farmers when you have this many farmers is really good. Um, a crashed ore freighter after identifying an anomaly in the gravity well of 42578. The GSS breeze blown in neck has discovered the shattered wreckage of an ancient ore super freighter buried deep within the asteroid's crust. It must have carried a full load when it crashed and the asteroid's mineral wealth has been revised accordingly. A little bit more minerals. Impressive start to slither a small area on the surface of Bazinek 4 practically begging for some archaeological work. I believe you are not busy, so you're going to go to Prothon. We get two terraforming candidates right next to each other. That is pretty cool. Um, something irregularity. We'll check in a second. Actually, um, it's this one, not Rochelle. It's Gamma Draconis. Our initial scans have gotten irregular signal reminiscent of our own distress patterns. Um... Build a mining district, kind of want mining. Yeah, so I have room for another building here. Question is, what would I like to have? Um, 
A cause to dance? Oh no. Strange occurrences have been reported among the colonists on Nootka's nest. Apparently many individuals have taken to dancing on the streets for hours, and even days on end, refusing to stop until they are physically restrained. So far this only affected a relatively small portion of the population, and our authorities have yet to establish a pattern. Research concluded. Monitor that situation, please. That sounds weird. I will grab fusion reactors so we can get our ships even stronger. And we should be able to defeat those aliens now. I was thinking of doing something else. Right, I need to buy some minerals so I can get my next section going. Um, 500, let's just sell 500 food, just have a little bit extra cash on hand. So once this is cleared, we can build ourselves a research segment. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around the Zestia 4A. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate what has happened to the crew. Um, this event has a terrible ending, or at least a chance on a terrible ending. We don't have time for it. Okay, so let's build the research segment and to facilitate I'm just now going to fix the uh, jobs here by just adding a or removing a research job and putting them in artisans that will allow us to manually adjust all the farmer jobs into researcher jobs when it needed. It means we have a little bit less research right now but I think that's offset by having a research segment in 600 days for sure. Okay. The structures on Bazanek 4 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. La Poissimou notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that, to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us griffins it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. System survey concluded. He says the dancing plague, you and me, on sanity. The isolated incidents of spontaneous prolonged dancing on Nootka's nest have escalated somewhat, and groups of hundreds of griffins are now compulsively dancing in a variety of different styles. Surprisingly, even those who have never shown much interest in dancing are suddenly able to perform expert moves, and the old among them have rediscovered the vigor of their youth. Although many residents are jokingly referring it, uh, to it as the dancing plague, it is no joking matter. Dancers show no concern for their bodily needs and risk dancing themselves to death. Um... Yeah, let's not start the music. This is not natural. We must Situation find out what is updated. afflicting them. Construction completed. And check it out. We've almost got Wankworth. Sadly, it's not going to be within sector range. But yeah, with the amount of plants we could maybe find System over here. Survey concluded. We briefly detect some unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. Might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Uh, you can go there. I would like some more ships for our fleet, because I want to take out those completed. silly things out there. Oh wow, this is really going to go very far. Um, let's start moving to Wankward. And as soon as we have the... Wait, what are we fighting? Where where were we fighting? Over here, Space Amoeba Hunters on a... Another Savannah World? Lucky bastard. Micro Singularity recently intersected Camglaria 3A, passing straight through the passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the moon. 
The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Well, yeah, probably. Um, oh, right, we also need to build a starbase there. Or an outpost, I should say. Let's just grab a little bit extra, a little Anomalous bit more extra. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. You built me an outpost with the caretakers there. Completed. Uh, you can build me the research station. I'm just trying to gather as much research as I can right now. Just like, eh, screw the minerals, screw everything else. Then again, this system has like a six mineral station available. I'm just building them all. Construction completed. Research station, do I? I almost have enough next month. Camglaria. Where is Camglaria? All the way up here. What is this? System it's completed. another science ship. Then we will have to check out what is going on there. Anomaly. The mineral composition of Suai Suya 3 does not match its com its projections. Well, I definitely want to grab all the way up to Unif, so... Once you're done, build me a starbase there. While conducting the survey of Basnek 3D, the GSS Leafy Warbler detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science officer La Poissemou is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. We detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the MEDEC system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time is formed here, creating a wormhole that, our scientists speculate, may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds, and only if it could be stabilized somehow. Like this entire area will be cut off if we take Camgloria. Construction completed. Actually, I want to grab that a tiny bit faster. Um. Across the barren fields of Suya 3, there are indications of old battles being fought. Beneath the lifeless ground, our researchers on the GSS Broadwing Rust through have found bones, metallic shards, and most surprisingly, a container filled with documents. If we send the documents to our homeworld for translation, we could potentially learn more about this war and who fought in it. It would also be possible to simply sell them off as antiques, to either 1500 credits or do some research on it. System survey concluded. Let's do some research System on it. System survey concluded. You returned from back there. You can go to the survey there. Actually, um, repair first and then do that. Actually, what is your... Oh, you're only level 2, right? Yeah, it's a shame. You're the highest one I have currently. You're also going to live a lot longer. System survey concluded. Okay, Research now they're concluded. still researching themselves. Uh, our ship has been fully repaired. Let's swap them around. So level two, this one, yes. You can go survey that. I will take the level four and actually start on clearing some more of these anomalies in our home areas. Coil gun is researched, perfect. Let's get mining station output. A new world has been colonized. Okay, the dancing plague pathogen has been isolated and we finished Tasu Brood. So in the background I will actually give you, oh geez, what is just 
so few planets with actually mining on it. It's annoying. But all my planets so far have been very low in districts. Our researchers have succeeded in isolating the cause of the dancing incidents on Nootka's nest. It appears the culprit is a gas released by the local vegetation. This gas induces feelings of exhilaration and an irresistible urge to dance, while suppressing fatigue. It seems to be fairly benign, however, as the colonists' self-preservation insects prevent them from literally dancing themselves to death. Furthermore, our scientists have developed a synthetic gas that, once released into the air, will neutralize the effects of the dancing gas. Local entrepreneurs suggest that we preserve the unique character of the colony by allowing the gas free reign in certain areas, providing a safe space for young and old alike to experience the eternal party of Nootka's nest. Others point out that the gas has certain valuable properties we can make use of if we can extract it from the plants before it is released into the air. So we could either add a fuming bog and gain some unity, or we can add some party fever. Um, let us exploit these gases. I am, I'm not that. Max gas extraction wells plus two. That is actually pretty cool and nice. And we got some unity out of it, which is also good. Construction completed. And mining, mining station here. You have got your. Coil gun, so I will upgrade and reinforce. On the one hand, I wouldn't mind building an alloy foundry here. Oh, also, um, yes. So as you can see, our researchers didn't get just uh, promoted from our food, but we can have definitely go up to ship upgrades. Apply. Five of these. Oh, seriously? Um, yeah, I do want them to be promoted. Construction completed. So now we are at 207 research instantly. It just poof went up. And we are finishing the expansion tree. 2217, that's actually pretty late. Galactic Impatient is done. Now we get to choose an ascension perk. I don't believe there's anything new with federations. There are some adjustments, but nothing ex uh, especially new. Um, let's see, what are the adjustments we have going? There is at least... No, there is one. Um, it's, I think, on... We can already grab this. Wait, what? It's not visible yet, is it? Then, or am I just? Yeah, it's not visible yet, huh? I didn't know that that was not a thing yet. So, like, there is Defender of the Galaxy, which gives you damage against Endgame factions, like the Endgame Crisis, the. Um, um, the Scourge, the Unbidden, uh, or the Contingency. Um, there's also a similar one that is against Fallen Empires and maybe the Khan. I'm not 100% sure about that. But that one it has been slightly adjusted to also give you diplomatic weight in the galaxy, I believe. But other than that, um, you know, on the one hand... Technological Ascendancy is probably one of the better ones to pick early on. But we're not materialists. Doesn't feel like that is how we should do. Imperial Prerogative is just too good to pass up. But I don't feel like I need it right now. Because soon we will build some other things to get our Empire Sprawl back in order. I think one vision feels like, hey, um, Governing Ethics Attraction, through unity is achieved only when it's when the ultimate goals of a nation and its people are one and the same. After all, a house divided against itself cannot stand. One of the most famous quotes of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Maybe not the famous one, the most famous one, but very famous nonetheless. Mm, yes. Now, throw us on. So, let's explain Empire Sprawl. Empire Sprawl has been, was already in the game before. But it used to be you got it from district systems and colonies. 
it's been changed to also add population. So the more population you have, the more Empire of Sprawl you will be gaining. And going over the Empire of Sprawl has been made a lot more penalizing than it used to be. It will go up much faster. So where you used to just be like, eh, I'm just ignore it, you shouldn't do it. What they did do is move leader cost out of it, which is good for credits, but tech cost goes up really fast if you go over the limits, as well as tradition adoption cost and campaign cost. Now there is something to counter this, and it's a building called the administrative office, which gives you bureaucrat jobs. Now, we already have a couple of bureaucrat jobs on our capital. Um, I also need to queue up, uh, so let me get some more stuff i also need to queue up a housing district because we are running low on popular on housing we already have one here the administrative offices gives you bureaucrat jobs as you can see over here um these are jobs for these jobs provide 10 admin capacity um empire cap yeah administrative capacity for every job for the cost of one consumer good. Which is pretty freaking good. Also let's open up one of both of these jobs. So when we get new population grown, they will move there. Also our, we have 4.8 growth per month, which is pretty good. That's almost a full pop every 20 month on our capital world. And that is at least with growth encouraged, yeah. So there are a lot of modifiers that adjust completed. this as well. Anomalous readings registered. Um, a small space station of some kind has been building a stable orbit around this asteroid. It appears deserted. Check it out. Ah, two more ships. According to a report from the crew of the breeze blown Enag, their mission was a failure. Science officer La Poanahua. Oh, I messed up again. Allegedly took manual control of the probe sent to retrieve a sample from the cluster, resulting in a collision between drone and mineral cluster that while mild, resulted in the mineral cluster breaking apart completely. The crew is careful to note that the experience has left signs of Solapoa Nahua somewhat shaken and the mineral shards should still be of some value. Um, either we find it unacceptable which gives Lapoa experience but also stubborn or its parts are equal to the sum its parts are equal to the sum of its parts. Or we get no experience, but we make her carefree. Which is a very interesting choice to make. Wait, where is she? Ah, here. Oh, yeah. Anomaly research speed. That could not have come at a better time. Because we are just about to send her to do all the anomalies. So that's a very, very nice one to grab at that point. And uh, right now we're actually low on influence because, well, let's face it, we do have a defensive pact, commercial agreement and a commercial pact. But in 90 months, which is a little bit, System we will grab completed. diplomacy for extra diplom for reduced and diplomatic cost. And there they are, the autocracy of Hegeris. Feudal Empire who are honor-bound warriors, they will probably not hate me outright, we are delighted to meet them. I will improve my relations immediately with them. So yeah, I definitely want to grab Camgloria, and if we have a chance even if... They, oh! They already hate me that much? It's only minus 10, why would you do this? I haven't closed my borders to them. Oh, that's rude. Uh, let's keep surveying here. <laughs> System survey concluded. Automated mining base. We've detected an automated mining base built in close orbit around asteroid UT9572. There are large chunks of the hull missing, the jagged holes indicative of heavy weapons damage. This station is beyond repair, but salvaging it will provide us with much valuable stuff. Construction completed. Um, continental world. Yeah, I kind of want to grab this at the very least. Hopefully even this one. If we can grab that, 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 and that. Then we block them out of this entire completed. area. We have detected an anomaly. Our surveys of habitable worlds 
Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Griffonia. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. Also, plant life of truly incredible proportions dominates the landscape of Azroth 3. Its vibrant colors and gargantuan size almost calling to our xenobiologists. And on that note, I would like to thank you all for watching and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future and make sure to ding that bell if you want to get notified immediately when a video goes live. Well, sort of immediately. I'm, I actually don't know how fast it is, but it should be pretty fast. Now, this is not what I want, people. Um, definitely want to keep enforcing this silliness in the bureaucrats. Uh, I don't want to lose bureaucrats because that's too costly. That's for sure. Anyway, I will see you all later.